Hey guys, first of all, I want to say thank you for all the support that um, the page has been receiving. Uh, today, I really am looking to have a very in-depth, intimate discussion with you guys about the looks that we, the audience, received um, from the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reunion. We're going to be discussing some of the looks that we loved and some of the looks that um, were on the stage. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to talk to us about two looks that I loved and then two absolute no no's i'm gonna start this conversation by saying like you know i ain't, shit, ain't really got a lot of money i'm a teacher as y'all all know but i still feel very much so inclined to uh comment on some of the looks that we were presented with because i am a longtime fan of the show um so the first look i want to actually congrats to is uh carly red let's talk about it for a second so carly presented us with this kind of like bodysuit but it was loose uh, i love the gems but the sequins uh i even love the dangle of the earring like typically those hoes wear like chandelier like what's trending right now is just like skin tight everything so i really appreciated that she gave us a fresh more loose solange-esque look this actually isn't too much obviously everything is clean her makeup is always great she was you know going back and forth with lovely mimi and she casually lifted up her foot and we saw the alubu uh, with the red bottom. So I'm here for it, sis. Uh, congrats on your glow up. Uh, look forward to more looks in the future. Second person I want to give love to is newcomer Sierra, CEO of the Glam Shop. I mean, my God, you were representing for chocolate women. You were represented for curvy women. I'm looking at your outfit now. You gave us a fur, a see-through with polka dot. You gave us a sequin down the leg, jet black bone straight wig with the extended edges and it was a flawless execution. And you did it as the world discussed the infidelities of your marriage. Lest we forget, all the while you were arguing with little boy Blue, your former assistant Mariah, who slept with your husband. Her wig is, was made of straw. Rumple stilt skin. It was spun from straw. And Mary J. Blige, I mean, you were arguing with the scarecrow. You look fabulous. Congrats to you. So now comes my favorite part, where we discuss some of the most disappointing looks. Sunken place is where we're at right now. We're going to start with lovely Mimi. <laughs> so let's be clear. From the neck up, Everything is where I would want it to be. And that's that's the thing about Atlanta. Um, you can't come on that stage unless your face is flawless. So this here, excellent. Neck down, girl. So you're wearing a, a nude bodysuit. It looks like you borrowed it from the girl from Escape who sang at the BET Awards. Not only is it not visually pleasing to the eye, it looks uncomfortable. Why do these bodysuits keep making their way to stages i'm like i don't want to walk around looking like a, a band-aid that's you know rolled in crystals this is in trend because beyonce she wears cat suits because that's because she's on stage performing she's she's whipping her hair she's doing full out choreography she's doing three hour shows essentially an athletic suit in crystals uh because she is a rock star a bad bitch. so when you a nail tech who is sitting all day puts one of those on it it's not practical it's not just lovely Mimi I want this to be a lesson to all of us we are not Beyonce uh, the next member on our second shut-in list is Tommy Tommy I am just dead you didn't destroy it it's a uh, ding dong the witch is dead let's start let's start with your hair it was like you went to the shop and said, okay, give me chic on a winter Rihanna Bob in the front. Give me a wee ponytail in the back. Don't finish it. Just wrap it once around, pin it, one bobby pin. Tommy, it's really unsettling that uh, your wig doesn't have a part. Like you guys get paid like maybe 45 to $50,000 an episode. Like you should be moving up above closures. The face, who did the face? The face is on some all lives matter. Should have been five shades darker than that face. Who contoured her nose? Oh my God. Swordfish, girl. That Vaseline on your lips, give me a lip, girl. Everything else is a pop of color and then you just went with Carmex for the lip. Fine. The jacket. 
it's the Mad Hatter meets City Trends. Okay, let, let's keep going. So we have an acid washed knee knocker and then the shoe, someone that you know either made the shoes or you did. Sis, what happened? Um, part two is out tonight. Uh, maybe after the show I'll go and look for a couple of other looks that I liked or disliked, but you guys let me know what you think.